YouTube, what is up guys? So uh, recently I did a video with Coheed and Cambrio and it was awesome and fun. <laughs> oh, 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 Jurassic Park! <laughs> hey. yes. 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 Just let blood That's my favorite. Coheed and Cambrio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And all the guys in the band are really, really down to earth and cool. Um, but afterwards, I got the chance to do a video with only Claudio, the lead singer. He's also the creator of a handful of comics. He's just an all around brilliant, talented, super nice guy. And this was such a cool experience, but I'll, I'll shut up and let you guys watch it. Uh, this is a top five with Claudio Sanchez. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of his work, as you guys know. I've been talking about what this guy does and the band uh, for years now. So we're doing a top five. Basically what happens is I ask you, I give you a category and you just give me your top five favorites. Okay. And there's cake. I just got done getting caked by the band. That's why I look like this and I've gotten successful cake on my phone. First category, top five movies. Top five movies? Ah! It's, it's like the hardest one, dude. I feel so bad after like going through <laughs> that little uh, trivia. I'll upload these at different times. Yeah. So they'll, they'll forget about that one. Um, for me, I think uh, definitely Star Wars A New Hope is up there. I mean, I think that had um, a profound impact on me. I mean, doing what I do, writing in science fiction and that counterpart of what the band does, very much, you know, Star Wars is, is very much the seeds of that. So I would definitely right. throw that up there. Star Wars. A two, what would be two? A True Romance. Ooh, okay. It's written by okay. Quentin Tarantino. It's just a super ultra-violent, beautiful love story, I think. Um, certainly one of my, my favorites. I've, I, I, I'm, this is probably something I should admit, but I've never seen it. Oh, really? Next time we talk, I'll be able to totally relate oh, with you Oh, you got to yeah. True Romance. Okay, so True Romance All right. would be number two. Two. Uh, number three would be Ghostbusters. Ooh. Um, just because that is the one movie, and I'm proud that I got that answer right. Yeah. In our little oh, yeah, trivia. Yeah, because uh, boom. That was the one movie that I found myself quoting the most as a kid. Uh, yeah. Um and just watching over and over again. That I mean, was the first one I latched onto. Like, yeah, oh really? You know, like, yeah. really latched onto. I totally. had the, all the toys and reenacted as I watched it. You know, and New York City, I mean I, I live oh, yeah. about thirty minutes from New York City and you can sort of see it from the Tappan Zee Bridge, which is the main bridge yeah, uh, yeah. outside of my town. And, and I always just used to think that the Ghostbusters were there. And I mean <laughs> not uh, just recently. Recently, actually, I walked by the the firehouse. Yeah. Oh, um, dude. Yeah. I never and, uh, thought of that. I've only been in New York once. Three. Uh, so what would four be? Uh, Batman with Michael Keaton. Ooh. Okay. The yeah. original or Returns? Uh, Returns was dark. I would probably go with the original. I'll throw Batman up there. Um, what else? Let's see what I got in my phone. Do you? Okay. I'm so bad you at You have this. answers to all, everything I was about to ask? No, well, I'll just yeah. look at the movies that I, I tend to buy over and over again. I'm actually I have not seen that You've yet. You've not seen Mad, Mad Max? Max right? yeah, Everyone's yeah. telling me to see that. Oh, I mean, it won so many awards last night. It's great. So let's see what I got in here. Army of Darkness, Back to the Future. Bill and Ted's is definitely one of them. They were saying you liked it. You, you can go with Bill and Ted's. <laughs> I want to find something that's like yeah. a, a little... <laughs> like, uh, like means. <laughs> yeah. Like the people, oh, what's wrong <laughs> with this guy? Oh, it's perfect though. I was reading the quotes last night. <laughs> the dialogue was like, I need to rewatch these movies, dude. Uh, you know, I might go with Inception. Ooh, that's good. You Inception's know, good. Just because I, I just think that the, the, the premise is really interesting and very, you know, like puzzle. Not to snoop into your, no, your movie please, life. No, please, by all that means. Was every single movie there it was like, <laughs> I was so psyched on though, dude, that I saw. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've OG. like purchased these movies yeah. like over and over again. Top five bands. Top five bands? Which is are probably impossible, right? Yeah. Um, I think, well, for, right off the bat, um, I would probably have to go with, well, the two, right, one and two would be Jimi Hendrix uh, experience, just because, um, you know, I find that I emulate what Hendrix did on stage a lot. Not that I'm, I'm not, yeah, no, 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 I nowhere you. that, you know, <laughs> like, but in terms of like the behind the head and the yeah, yeah. mouth oh, stuff, no, the yeah, gimmicky I, things, I, I, you I agree. Know. For My sure. son's middle name is, is Hendrix, yeah. so you know I d definitely uh, spent a lot of time listening to 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 him. Would go number two would be Pink Floyd because you know I saw Pink Floyd in 1994 on the Division Bell tour, and I wasn't a fan of the band before oh, right. that. You know it was just something that friends were like, oh we should go see this, yeah. and, and I did. And it um, you know watching the visuals and the music and the way those two things that's an experience. Like, oh absolutely, I never yeah. ever seen them. Yeah, I, I definitely I... I definitely think that that had seeds in this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like oh, Star yeah. Wars and Pink Floyd is our Cohen Yeah, it's yeah. like this converge. It's like, oh, that's it's that's like the mathematical what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pink Floyd would be up there. So too. And then I, I guess I would stay in in the classic rock world with the Beatles. You know, just spend a lot of time listening to the Beatles. I just think it was such a great um, progression yeah. of a band.
band, you know, going from sort of this pop oriented thing to sort of expanding into what kind of felt like a progressive That's, band. I mean, they. I was about to they, use that word. It's yeah. Like totally expanded. Yeah. yeah. It was it just a beautiful, like, evolution of that of that band. Oh, I thought uh, At the Drive was, a, was just a great band. We used to use them for skate edits. Oh, hell like, yeah. Like, when we were like, like 15, 16, you know? Like, so we've always been. We loved them. Then Mars Volta, we got into too a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, I would, so. I would definitely throw them up there. One more. Yeah, one more. Um, let's see. I think Jane's Addiction. Okay. All right, so that's five. Cell phone, cake, cake cell phone. You travel a lot, clearly. I do. You're a rock star. <laughs> Top five cities. Oh, cities. Okay, so right off the bat, New York is my favorite city yeah. in the world. I mean, I live in New York. I don't know. It's it, You can get anything at any hour. You cannot in Cincinnati. I have a 24-hour, like, grocery store next bounce on site. That's, like, that's it. That's the extent of it. Yeah. It's just, it's just great. I mean, the you know, the diversity, the cultures, you know, it's, it's just, uh, yeah. it's good for our son, too. I think he, um, he needs that sort of... Uh, you know, culture. And yeah, I guess, yeah. and just like you know, just a yeah. stimulation. Second would be Paris, France. Um, Makes sense with Coheed. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. where the you know, Coheed was born. So yeah, I, Paris, France. I, I guess uh, Japan would probably be up there. Uh, where in Japan though? Tokyo. Yeah, I guess Tokyo because my wife and I we got engaged there. Oh, so, so five o'clock in the morning. Ladies, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five o'clock in the morning. I uh, woke her up, and because I tend to wake up fairly early. Yeah. Um, and I woke her up and I gave her the ring and I said, you know, this is what's going to happen for the rest of yeah. her life. I'm just uh, going to be up before you that's, and like, that was, <laughs> and I'm probably pestering person? you, you know, yeah. not well. Oh, that makes it so much more, better. Yeah. She was like, what? <laughs> this is happening? That's awesome. That's three, right? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, we're, I really like Chicago. We just left Chicago. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time there. You know, when we have the days off in the city, I do really like it a lot. So yeah. let's see, where's another, oh, Cologne, Germany. Okay. Yeah. I've never been there. That's yeah, sure. I like Cologne, Germany. <laughs> we had a couple of days off. Maybe they were like rehearsal days. Yeah. Got to explore it a bunch, and I just kind of fell in love with it. Every you guys went there we recently, right? Things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a good one. This is one of my favorite ones. Top five things to do besides music. What do I do? I don't. I like to walk. That's a good one. One at night. Yeah, anytime. Or morning, I guess. If you're a yeah, morning. yeah. So like yeah. five o'clock in the morning, I'm walking around the city because yeah. I can't really work in the apartment. I'll drive people crazy. So I do. I really like to walk. That's a great it's thing about living here. dude. Yeah, absolutely. Just creative churning. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm For sure. Number two, I like being a dad. And that probably should be number yeah. one, but yeah. <laughs> well, you'd realize later in the list that it's number one. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So um, I do I, that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot my family. Darn it. Uh, I do like that a lot. It's mm -hmm. fun, and you know, being out here, it just made it more meaningful. Yeah. You know? I do like creating comics. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. That's definitely up there. Um, and I do, I do like sharing that with my wife. So yeah. Um, you guys have a lot. Uh, you have two. We have a, um, we're, we're, there's Kill Audio, yeah, Translucid, and, and Kia Z. And, oh, and yeah, okay. together we're actually working on Amory Wars. We're doing, oh, the, doing the, the next yeah, one? Yeah, together, Shawnee yes. and I, are. we decided to, to do that together. I do love working with my wife. So I guess yeah. comic, comic books and working with my wife is, For sure. is there. There you yeah. go. Um, uh, is that three or is I mean, that? if you, you can count that as four if you do oh, okay. working with my wife as the next oh, one. Oh, okay, well there you so, go. So one more. Okay, one more. I like going to the movies. Yeah, film. Yes, I do. I like right there. Uh, top five superheroes. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would go number one would be um, would be Batman for gonna, sure. I was gonna assume that. Yeah. I mean, I just I find that, that I always am excited and enthused when I read a Batman story. Mm -hmm. uh, number two would probably be um, Wolverine, mm -hmm. um, just because uh, you know my brother and I we just loved him so much as kids. We loved the claws were so cool. The rage was interesting. He's like every single kid's favorite. Yeah. Superhero. Was I mean, he yours? Just, when you're, at a certain point, he was yours. Yeah. Right? yeah like, like you know, he's just he. He's awesome. You know, he's got that quiet, loner sort of mentality, mm -hmm. but, you know, he can be a team player. Three would be Rorschach of The Watchmen. Oh, okay. That's good, yeah. Yeah. I'm probably a close tie between him and Dr. Manhattan. Okay. Um, so he'd be four? Well, I'd probably, I'd probably put them... Involved. Okay, yeah. They're fighting at number it, yeah. three. Uh, but then number four, I would, I would go with Spawn. 
Ooh. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, Another just, one I grew up on. Yeah, just because when those guys like those guys split and started Image, like that was like the flagship. Yeah, and um, they kicked off well. Yeah, I mean, I just hype. I just loved Spawn. I thought he had everything. You know, the yeah. the the. The religious aspect, the magic. I thought his costume was cool. Yeah. I did, you know. Enemies really cool too. As growing up. Like yeah, Malfoy, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just dark, you know. You know it, was, it was scary. Yeah, yeah the Violator, yeah, the Redeemer, yeah. awesome. all those cool dudes. I, I, I loved Spawn. If I had to pick a last one. I'd probably just go Spider-Man. It's one of those things where I gotta say one of everybody's favorite, but it's just it's Spider-Man. Yeah, He's awesome. uh, totally. And New York like, goes with that too. Definitely. You know, yeah. when I was a kid, my father would play music in the car, and I would look outside the window, and in my imagination, Spider-Man would be yeah. swinging from rooftops. You know, yeah. it's just like so. Spider-Man would be nice. That's awesome. Okay, well, thank you very much for doing this. Oh, you got it. I completely forgot that I had cake. I did like it on my face this whole time. <laughs> I thank you for what you have done to the creative everything, and you know it affects a lot of lives. So. It's been awesome to have you on board. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it. We're cool. done here. Thank you, Andy. Cool. Hey guys, I hope you guys dug that video. If you don't know who Claudio is, you should definitely look up Coheed's music. And uh, if you're into comic books, check out the comic books. He does uh, Kia Z, Translucid, the Kill Audio, and the Amory Wars, which is a tied in with the Coheed story, the creator of those. But uh, he was, it was such a wild experience because, um, you know, they've always been my favorite band. And man, I've been listening to the dude sing for 10 plus years. It was wild. Like at first, when I did the intro with them, I kind of looked like, uh, like not my normal self. That's why I did the, the, the intro sitting here because I was like, my energy is not what it usually is at. So, um, but it was a super cool experience. We actually filmed a ton. Like he was very descriptive with his answers and, uh, he, we ended up talking for like 25 minutes, you know, and I broke it down into 10 minutes for this video. It was a really, really cool experience. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Coheed and Cambria. Thank you to Claudio. And they actually just released a new video for the Island, which is funny because uh, today Batman vs Superman comes out. So you should check it out. It's, it's a funny little, uh, it, it relates to that movie. So, so check it out. Um, there's a link right at the end of this video, um, or down in the info. It's really, really cool. So there you guys go. I do videos every day, so stay tuned. Uh, but mainly just check out the Island music video. I'll see you then.